All right, I'm out checking some of my hives for spring. I've been through that one over there already. Uh, got this in the part. Been through that box, I haven't found the queen yet. Could have looked over, I'm not sure. Uh, got the smoker lit, just in case. As yet, I haven't had to use it. Sometimes they're just a little cranky in the spring. I let this box go through the winter with, uh, or this hive, with three boxes. Uh, got into this one here. Um, it's been uh, kind of interesting so far. They've been really good. Um, we've, uh, I'm still looking for a queen can't, but I'll just get you kind of close up look at the bees here. They're pretty content at this point. Got quite a bit of drone brood on this frame. Let's see if we can get, get them to move off here and, and see how that's got a little dome on it. Those are the drones. Got just a little bit of a worker brood left on this that hasn't hatched out yet. It's, see, it's more uh, level with the surface of the comb. Just a little bit there. A little pollen here. But uh, what I really wanted to do with this one, what I thought was kind of interesting was that I uh, put my guards on a little late last year. My mouse guards that is. And uh, when I was taking these off look for the queen uh, that mouse didn't make it. Evidently shut one in. Oops. <laughs> now. This is a frame in the second box. I wish I could. Don't know how I'll be able to get into this or not because there's some eggs here. If I can get the light right and get some bees out of the way. Come on, get out of the way there, ladies. And stay out of the way for just a minute. I hope you can see those white little specks in the bottom. Those are bee eggs. Little tiny bee eggs. <laughs> Bees are pretty interested in keeping them covered up. Gal walking around with pollen on her, trying to find a place to put it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can hear all the buzzing going on or not. Boy, they're sure busy. They're really busy. One right there on the head. has got some more pollen on her. She's going to hide out. No, there's some light colored pollen. I would guess it would be dandelion pollen, the color of it. Some really light pollen on this one. Willow, possibly. I'm not a pollen expert, but she's sure loaded down. Okay, I finally found the queen on this one. There she is. Love the colors. We wife and I prefer the darker queens. We've got some that are lighter. Of course, if they were all like this, I'd be thrilled. We're really looking for a place to lay. 
There she is laying. All little bees around her. <laughs> well, good for her. Good little court tending her, taking care of her. There's a new one, newly hatched one there. The one that just looks a little ragged. Yeah, let's see if we can get her marked. I used to uh, paint my queens. This year, I've decided to uh, to stick numbers on. Something that worked out pretty good so far with the other one. I'm sure as heck not an expert at this. So, uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Pretty gently. I can get a grip on her here. There we go. She's a pretty queen. I just don't want to mess her up. Got a little tool here. A little glue on it. Number one. I just had a drone land on my face while I was doing that. Drones are the males. They just hang out in the hive and breed, fly out, drone congregation area where they gather, wait for queens. They uh, just hang out. They just eat and just hang out. Uh, before you guys start thinking this is a real enviable position, all you got to do is eat and breed. Well, when they breed, their reproductive organ rips out and they uh, and they die. They don't have a stinger because their reproductive organ is in the place where the stingers are is on the female. And also another added downside to being a drone is when they uh, come to fall and it's time for the bees to start being careful and shutting down things for the winter they want to conserve the food so guess what they chase all the drones out and they die in the winter well there she is she's got her little number one on her back now she won't be a problem finding the next time <laughs> <laughs> 